Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the king of snakes. California king snake. First off, I want to introduce you guys to Spartacus. So these guys have a bad reputation of being really nippy, liking to bite, and it is true at times. Some of them are really nippy and they like to eat. That's what it is. They have a really strong feeding response, so they confuse you for food sometimes. But. Uh, and not all California king snakes are aggressive. Most of them are actually calm. As long as you wash your hands after touching another snake, because something about king snakes, they like to eat other snakes. That's why they're called king snakes. Now I picked up Spartacus in 2019. I was with my girlfriend, she fell in love with him. So did I, um, that was at a reptile pet store. And normally we get him directly through Morph Market, through a breeder, or at a reptile show, but um, we just couldn't pass up when we saw all the beautiful markings and he's really calm. His, he's actually the calmest king snake that we have. He actually will just wrap around your finger when you hold him and just hang out. And his tail looks like a ghost. Look at the two eyes and the mouth. So his belly has a little bit of black, a little bit of cream color looks really beautiful and something I like about the aberrant king snakes you don't know what you're gonna get so you could pair it with another aberrant and the babies could come out all different ways and that's the beauty of the aberrant pattern you're not gonna get an exact look and I think that's pretty cool next I want you to meet Luna so this is Luna the girl I was telling telling you about now tell me, isn't she beautiful? Look at those red eyes. And she's albino. So if, if, if Spartacus, the male that I just showed you, is head albino, then it'll be like a mixed clutch of babies. But I don't know if he's head albino, so it'll be a surprise. If he's not head albino, all the babies will look normal like him, but they'll all be head albino. And if you breed them back to each other, you would get a mixture. So Luna's really, really calm. She's almost as calm as Spartacus. She only bit me one time, and that was probably because I was handling pinkies. Um, but she does love to eat. She has a lot of nice markings on her, and on her tail, she actually has a very similar marking to Spartacus. And that's a little look at her belly, nice pink. I think pink snakes, the pink and white mix, it's amazing. I, you know, it seems like a snake's not supposed to be those colors, so it's just pretty amazing. And so in 2022, I'll be breeding her with Spartacus, and I'm really excited to see how those babies turn out and to see if he's het albino. But I'm also looking for a male high white albino to breed with her in 2023, which would be the following year. And then I could see the difference between the babies with Spartacus versus another high white albino. So check out this male 2018 California King Snake Het Palmer Ghost and a male which is albino. So I picked this guy up from Clayton Carlisle at Mesozoic Reptile. He produces amazing snakes and I also picked up a female, which is a 2019, so hopefully 2022, I'll be able to breed them for the first time. So I don't have any Palmer Ghost myself, and here's a photo of what one looks like. And this photo is not mine, it's from Clayton Carlisle. 
a beautiful beautiful snake very expensive so that's why I actually decided to pick up two hats and produce my own so I'm really excited and the beautiful thing about the Palmer Ghost you have a light phase and a dark phase this is het for light phase but they come in all different shades and they kind of have like a marble look to them it's just really beautiful and if you haven't checked out Mesozoic reptiles I highly recommend them really really friendly breeder a lot of knowledge and beautiful animals So I picked up this beautiful female from Clayton Carlisle at Mesozoic Reptiles as well. She's a beauty. She looks a little bit different than the male. The facial features are very similar. They both have that sleek, ferocious look. That's the way I see it anyway. And she has kind of a banana pattern. Nothing like the male. So I'm really interested to see what they're going to produ produce. I know some of the babies will be Palmer Ghosts, but some will just be Hets. So I'm wondering what those will look like. It's really interesting. I think 2022 is going to be a good year. And all photos used in this video are my own photos from my um, Instagram. With the exception of the ones that I said were from Clayton Carlisle. I hope everybody's enjoying the video. If you watch to the end, there's going to be a little round cloud colubra logo. If you enjoy the video, hit that and you can subscribe. I'll also leave you a recommended video. And I really hope you guys are enjoying this. Normally I display my animals from unboxing videos and feeding videos. But leave comments below. Do you like this kind of a series where I can show each animal individually, give you a little history? I think it's a better way to show each snake off. If you're wondering what this beauty is... It's a blue-eyed lavender, one of my absolute favorite California king snakes. Um, these definitely have a little bit of attitude, but they're beautiful, and they're not that easy to find. Luckily, I know Tom Stevens. He's one of the best California king snake breeders around. Highly recommend him, and um, you'll see him at the Daytona show. He goes there often, but uh, look at the colors on these. It's just so amazing, and the camera doesn't pick it up the way you actually see it in person. And this is a 2019 female. I also have another female that's het blue-eyed lavender that looks like a normal California king snake. And I just acquired a female blue-eyed lavender 2020. So this one is from Don Shores. I got him off a Morph Market last year. 2019 baby, and he's beautiful. I've been looking for a female that looks similar to this uh, for about a year now and I haven't found one but I'm sure I will eventually. Absolutely beautiful and they call it ink drop because if you look on top it looks like little ink droplets of black. Now when you breed these they don't all come out like this. They usually come out banded so the ink drop pattern is just like an aberrant. It can come out at any time you can't really breed for it that's why they're not common and they're hard to find so he's just relaxing right now enjoying the day looking good and he's pretty calm right now most of the time he's calm just like this he bit me a couple of times and again that's my fault not washing my hands but uh, look at the face it has a nice feature to it um, Sometimes when I look at this from far, it reminds me a little bit of like a Dalmatian. But uh, Ink Drop is a name I use that a couple of breeders use. Some people give them other names, but uh, Ink Drop is the most common name for this snake. Now this will be the last snake in the video. I got this from Tom Stevens and this is from his Sacred Albino line. Something special about the Sacred Albino line, it's line bred to increase yellow. So some of these snakes come out almost pure yellow and look at the head marking on this guy, it's just amazing. Now there's a reason why I left this uh, male as my last snake in the video. He's my most ferocious California king snake. 
so ferocious that sometimes I'm actually actually scared to even open the bin to give him water. The only time I feel comfortable is when I'm feeding him because I know he's not going to come after me. He'll bite me through the bin. When I open the bin to pour water, he bites the water. But um, he has a beautiful pink belly, nice yellows. And I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And again, I love the comments and I always respond to them. Be safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. My friends and